Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. A few days back, I did kind of a, a sample spree. I just pulled out a whole bunch of samples because I've got a ton, like a metric ton of samples. Uh, but yeah, I pulled some out that I hadn't smelled before and I just smelled them here for the first time on camera for you guys. I went through 10 different ones, found some that were actually really good that I liked a lot and some other ones um, that I didn't like quite as much. But for some reason, a lot of you guys asked me if I would do more of that. So here we are again. I just have five in front of me. So I'm gonna smell these ones and let you know what I think about them. And if we have any extra time, maybe I'll grab another one. Cause like I said, I've got too many. But for now, let's jump into it. Let's check these guys out. Uh, we're going to be using handy dandy tester strips. If I feel like I need to, I'll spray one of these on my skin though. Do you notice the difference? Because tester strips, as I've said a million times, they lie. You can't trust a tester strip. It'll give you an idea of the fragrance, but it doesn't give you the full depth of the fragrance. Well, let's just start with the off non. So here it is. It's called off non Mersal of trust. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I know a lot of you guys out there will let me know what Mersal means, and also probably let me know that I'm mispronouncing it. But Mersal of Trust, it's actually a three mil size sample, which is pretty good. Usually they're like one, one and a half mils. It is an interesting bottle design, which you can see on screen. Uh, top note, Vetiver Ambrofix, heart note, saffron raspberry, base note, dry amber carnation and cashmere wood. That's what it says on the inside here. Something terrible has happened. <laughs> And I did just get this in, so there's a very small amount left in there and it's like almost coagulated into a, a thick, weird looking uh, liquid. Let's try to spray it on the tester strip. I'm glad we're doing tester strips and not skin this time, actually. Ah! So it didn't really atomize, it just kind of, just it, it just kind of splooged. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it still smells like a fragrance. I mean, it's, you know, it, it didn't really atomize. It just kind of like bleh, puked out onto the tester strip, bleh, you know? So it smells like a Tuscan leather clone. Probably not a surprise. I mean, when you look at the note breakdown, saffron, raspberry, you know, you got to look at that with kind of a raised eyebrow, you know, give it the old, mm, I think I know what you're onto here. To be fair, they didn't put leather as one of the notes, but the opening of this is very much in, in the style of Tuscan leather. Uh, it actually smells pretty good considering how much of a horror story uh, the inside of this bottle looks. That looks terrible. It's like a very approachable Tuscan leather. Sweet, but has that leathery sort of edge to it. Saffron noticeable. Yeah, it's nice. Real nice. I'd say if you could pick that up on the cheap, you know, that'd be a, a nice little pickup. Okay, what are we doing next? You know, let's check out one of these Al Algabras. So I got two of them. I got King of Flowers and I got Poem of Damas. We'll do King of Flowers first. Inspired by Damascus, it says on the inside here. Uh, top notes of grapefruit and bergamot, heart notes of lavender, iris, and vanilla, base notes of amber and sandalwood. It's an extrait de parfum. Let's spray it on. Yeah, this one's way better. See that nice atomization going on. Hey, that's not bad. That's a nice vanilla kind of smell coming out. Nice and sweet. A little powdery, but not overwhelmingly so. It's like a light powder. King of Flowers. Hmm. Hey, this is actually really good. I like this. This has got like an ambery vanilla feel, like a little bit of iris, but not a lot. I'm guessing that's the king of flowers and I'm not gonna argue that. Don't really get much uh, citrus here. A little lavender, fresh, kind of adding a little bit of a juxtaposition against the sweeter vanilla amber, which is the most prominent thing here actually. It's called king of flowers, but uh, the flowers are serving as like party favors to the vanilla and the amber. They're, they're there, they're sprucing things up, making it a little more interesting, but not really the star of the show. Ah, man, that is, that is good. All right, gotta say, this is one of those deals where you would look at it, like this doesn't look very premium as far as the, the packaging of the sample. And the sample itself is just a standard like stock little sample spray, and then they wrap a sticker around it and you can see like the sticker is peeling off. So when you look at that, it doesn't look premium, but then you smell that and it is just, ooh, it's divine. How much do these cost? I'm gonna look this up. Looks like $175 for a 50 mil size bottle from Lucky Scent. I'm okay with that. Oh, by the way, you shop at luckyscent.com. 
Use the code TINGENT to save yourself 10% off your order. Uh, I might be ordering that soon. I am so pumped that I smelled that because I promise you, had I not been doing this video, I would not have smelled that based off just the, the way it looks. And again, it's just like the lessons you learn when you're a kid. Don't judge a book by its cover. Naughty me. What am I doing here? Next up, let's smell uh, Toomey Kinetic. Refined, seductive, and powerful, this fragrance is pushed to an extreme concentration level, featuring a patented anti-habituation technology that makes it ultra long lasting. Patented anti-habituation technology. Is it just me or does that sound kind of like just marketing jargon that actually means nothing? I don't, I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll spray it on and see how it smells. I smelled the first couple fragrances from Toomey and they were not bad. They were kind of, you know, standard, I guess you would say, where they're, they're not really doing anything crazy new, but they smell good. I love the cap on them. Okay, let's smell it. I don't mind that. You know, it's, it's kind of like a meeting of a few different worlds put into this fragrance is how I'm interpreting it off the tester strip. It smells a little bit like, hey, shower gel, fresh out of the shower kind of fragrance. Like that's part of it. Then it has a slight throwback feel to it. And then at the same time, it has this warm kind of base where it's like fresh and at the same time, a little bit more geared toward potential like fall usage with a, a little throwback, as I said, feel to it, probably some lavender, something like that, making it smell that way. It smells like it's inspired by probably Dior Sauvage. You know, it's got that sort of freshness to it, but with a little more amber underneath, kind of. It's, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's not amazing. It's one of those fragrances that you could get a lot of use out of if you didn't have a big collection. If you got it for a good price from a discounter, that would be pretty nice. Let's do this weird one here. This is a M-I-N-T, that which triggers emotions, it says. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> this one actually caught my eye because it, you know, it arrived in this little baggie and I'm like, okay, that's one way to go about it. Let's see what it says. That's kind of cool looking. M-I-N-T, Vibrant Scent Azure Line. I guess it's uh, Vibrant Scent is the name of the fragrance. <laughs> and then M-I-N-T is the house and Azure Line is the line. I really had never heard of this before. I know a lot of you out there probably have, but uh, this, you know, flew completely under my radar. Let's test it. This is very strange. Um, the name is just Vibrant Scent, which is not not too much to that name, is it? It's like, hey, here's a, here's a vibrant fragrance. Okay, but this is very, 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 very safe. Ultra pleasant. It's just kind of a clean musk with a um, little fresh spice, maybe a little fresh pop. You know, to an extent, it reminds me of a fragrance like Ganymede, like it, it's accomplishing a similar thing. I'm gonna spray it on skin because uh, off a tester strip, I don't know, you know, if that Ganymede similarity, if that carries over to skin or not, so we'll see. Mm, nah, not so much on skin. A little more floral off skin as well. Comes out pretty early, well, immediately. Ultra, ultra fresh. As I said, very safe. The florals have almost like a, a watery feel to them. Like they're very fresh, almost like you had uh, spritzed the flowers with water. You know how they might do at a florist or something. I'm gonna look up the price on these also. Actually look up the packaging as well because that little sample spray is not telling me anything. Okay, the packaging is interesting. It's different looking. And Oh, okay, just actually $212 uh, period. They're available at Max Aroma. So Gents 10, <laughs> what a great seg. Uh, Gents 10 is the code on Max Aroma, save yourself 10% off anything on their website. It's one of those kind of fragrances that wears like a second skin. At least that's how it's coming off right now. Like I can pick it up, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not really pumping out. It's just softly wafting and letting, letting itself be known. But I actually really like the way it smells. I don't know about 212, that's kind of a, you know, kind of an iffy number. I would go for King of Flowers um, over this for sure. But this is my second favorite thing that I've smelled so far today. Last one is uh, the Poem of Damas. Poem of Damas. So this one has a top of agarwood and amber, mid of fruity floral notes, and a base of oriental spicy notes. So I'll just spray it on my skin. Heck with it. Ooh, pungent. Nice. The wood hits you with like a slight varnish kind of feeling when you smell it initially. The florals, you can tell they're there, but they're 
swallowed up initially. So you can tell they're there, but you can't really pick them out very cleanly initially. Very strong, which this isn't a straight to parfum, so I'd expect that. And, you know, taking these big whiffs of it, it's one of those fragrances where the that woodiness that comes across so strongly initially almost causes your throat to try to seize for a second where you, you catch a whiff and it's like, <coughs> it's starting to settle down a little bit, but it, it's got a, a lot of strength to it. It's softening now, it's smoothing out uh, that initial five minutes or so. It's um, really, really, really powerful in that initial blast, but then it starts to, to settle and then it's much more approachable. So I would spray this on and probably not go in for big whiffs like I was doing. Just let it chill, way better now, much more wearable. That kind of varnish feel from the top, that goes away. Reminiscent of More Than Words by Zerzhov. Very pleasant, very pleasant. Some nice like dried fruitiness coming in underneath the florals now, sweetening everything up and again, making it more approachable. This is good. I thought that initially it was gonna be kind of harsh. One of those fragrances that only people really into oud scents or oud type of scents would be able to wear or appreciate. Uh, but after it settles, I think it becomes something that a lot of people could wrap their heads around. I don't think it smells better than King of Flowers. Definitely fall winter time fragrance. Uh, something that would cut through the cold. Actually, I, I would say just winter. Yeah, I don't know if I'd wear this in fall. It gets a lot better though. Once this starts to dry down, that opening is, is mm, yeah, that opening is a little harsh. Oh, man, yeah, way smoother now. This brand has impressed the crap out of me. Watch it be, these are the two best. And like everything else from the house is not that good, but these two are good. Okay, so uh, rundown, the Offnon, that's a clone of Tuscan Leather. And it's a good one, but on this tester strip, it definitely has switched up. Now it's gone more woody and not, not so leathery. So it's like an opening uh, that's very reminiscent of Tuscan Leather, then it changes a bit as it dries, at least according to this, but still very good. King of Flowers is fantastic. That vanilla is just really nice. That vanilla amber and the iris on the outskirts there. Oh, nice. Kinetic is Sauvage with like a sweeter twist to it, at least off this tester strip. And then Vibrant Scent. Yeah, just very subtle, but easy to wear, musky. I like it a lot though. And then Poem of Damas. I was going to say that Vibrant Scent is my second favorite of these, and it's close, but I think I think Poem of Damas is kind of just, it's got so much more power. And as it, as it dries and smooths out, it gets good. Not too floral. That's what I love about it. It has the florals, but they're in check. This is run insanely long, so I have to go, guys. Five fragrances took forever. Thank you all for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. See you again another day with another video. See you guys later.